Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a back to school makeup tutorial. It's really quick and easy, lightweight, like glowy skin, it's healthy looking, and it's just like really easy and minimal. I just like conceal a few spots and things. So yeah, if you want to know what I do for this, this is something like I throw on for an everyday kind of school makeup when I need to head out the door quickly and I know I want to put a little bit of something on my face. This is what I like to do. And I also moisturize my lips with the Clarence Lip Oil, the Instant Light Lip Oil. I have the mint one, but it's like somewhere in my bag and I'll just moisturize my lip right now or on the go, so yeah. Um, never mind the lips, but you can definitely throw on a lippy if you want, but I just leave them as is just so I feel more comfortable when I'm eating, snacks throughout the day, drinking, and I don't have to worry about a lipstick all day. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, I'm just going to say good luck on the start of years, work, uni, whatever you're going to. I just wish you the best of luck, and I hope you have the best time ever. Make the most of it, study hard, work hard, and you know what, just learn and take everything in, and just like, you know, enjoy it, enjoy it. Just enjoy it trust me <laughs> but yeah that's it um i'm just going to stop rambling and i wish you the best for the new school year the new year at uni at work whatever you're doing whatever you're up to that day have the best day ever and make the most of it so yeah i love you guys so much um and let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing that you have to keep in mind is to moisturize your skin to keep it well hydrated because when you're at school or uni or whatever at work you get really tired and sometimes you forget to drink water. So um, uh, if you want to keep your skin looking your best, you want to hydrate it and protect it from the sun, the UV rays um, with some SPF. So I've already done that and now I'm going to prime my skin so it lasts a little bit better. So yeah. Now to prime it, I'm going to use the last, last bit I have from the Nivea Post Shave Balm. I need to go pick up another one of these. I'm going to use a tiny bit, remove my glasses because I can't see anything. Position my mirror and just spread it around. Now that that has sunk into my skin, I'm losing my voice a little. <clears throat> I'm going to go in ahead with my concealer and the concealer that I'm using for this, which is really good, I really suggest getting like a drugstore concealer and I haven't said what it is. It is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Ivory and it's slightly pink. It's like kind of neutral but slightly pink and it really works to um, correct my under eye circles which is what you kind of want when you're in school. And I grab some of this and I start applying it like kind of on the center of my face dragging it outwards. What you really want to do is just kind of like conceal your imperfections and things that you want to correct. So I'm doing that and then with my damp equals to equals to. And with my damp eco tool sponge, I'm just going to blend that all away. Now, if you wear glasses like me, I suggest you don't put a lot on the sides of your nose so you don't get like the glasses mark where it rests right here. So just like blend it a little bit and barely put anything on the sides of your nose. So you don't have like that foundation cake you get with the glasses where they sit. So yeah. Okay, so this is like my first kind of like layer and now I'm just going to go in with a little bit more concealer right here, like just right here and just blend it really lightly like really 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 lightly and if you don't have super dark circles then you could stop there and it looks absolutely fine but this is my Tarte Marc Rouge Eclisis Concealer in the shade Really Light Neutral and I just grab a tiny bit just a tiny tiny bit and just apply it right where I have the dark circle a little bit and on my spots that I really want to like hide. You could try only using this one, but it's like really thick. So that's why I suggest using two concealers, like one medium, like a lightweight kind of concealer, and then go in with like a spot concealing type of thing that I'm doing right here. So you just mask the under eyes with a full coverage one. So now what I do is I grab my Maybelline Fit Me Satin Smooth Powder in the shade 120 Classic Ivory, like this one right here. And I just grab my brush and set my under eyes a little bit, not too much because I didn't apply that much concealer. So yeah, I just grab a little bit and powder my under eyes just a tiny bit on the areas that I applied concealer. And there we go. That's barely any powder. Next, I'm going in with bronzer and I'm using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This is the light one, yes, light bronzer. And I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush 
and just bronze slightly the sides of my skin so it evens out my complexion and I don't look super pale and I look like sick. You know how sometimes you wear makeup and then the other day you don't wear makeup and then they tell you, oh, are you okay? You look sick. Are you feeling okay? So yeah, that is so annoying. You shouldn't feel the need to put makeup because of that. I'm just saying. So you even it out and you don't look actually sick. So next I'm going to use blush and I do a fiber brush. Sorry, excuse the dirtiness. I just recently used it and I have to wash them. Um, I'm using the NYX HD blush in the shade 09 Bitten and this is like a really nice blush shade. It's like a universal blush shade. It looks really nice on like, I would say all the skin tones. Pretty sure. And like almost all of the makeup looks, it looks really nice because it's a natural blush shade. So yeah. To put some color back into my skin, I just put a little bit of blush and then with the fat side of my powder, just powder it right here so it blends. Now for highlight, I'm going to use the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette and I really like this because you can custom mix shades depending on how tanned you are during the year and it's a drugstore one so you won't have to worry about repurchasing it um, and spending a ton of money when you finish it. So yeah, I just, I'm using my Real Techniques setting brush and I just apply on the high points of my face just quite lightly I just tap a little bit and I build it up and this is what I actually really like to do I make my skin look glowy so when people like look at my skin after the powders are set they look oh you look radiant you look so glowy and obviously if they know about makeup they know it's highlight but it's all an illusion <laughs> like right now my skin isn't looking its best so I really like to douse it with highlighter so I look a little bit glowier. <sighs> okay, now I grab with the lighter shade. I used this one and I'm using this one right here. And I just hit it on top of my cheekbones right there. A little bit on my nose. Now, if you have oily skin, I do not recommend that you put it on your nose or your forehead or your chin. Just leave it on your cheekbones and set it as it is. And then my little trick to look a little bit more radiant is to gla gla is to grab the pink highlighter right here, just tap it a little bit and just apply it on your cheekbones. If you like to drag your highlight down and look glowier, that's what I recommend doing so it actually meshes with the highlight. And then to blend everything together, I grab my blush brush and just blend the highlight and then just fluff this out a tiny bit. And then I use my setting spray and then the setting spray that I'm using is the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. And I just spritz my face. Let me just put my glasses away so I don't get spritz on that. Just spritz my face. And obviously if you have um, oily skin, use a matte setting spray or a long lasting one, whichever one you want. I like to use a drugstore dewy one so my skin looks like all right. And then I tend to grab a powder, my the powder that I use to set my under eyes and a tiny little brush just to like touch up throughout the day if I have to but I normally don't, I just leave it as it is. And now I go in with my sponge on the fat side where I don't have any concealer and just push the setting spray into my skin so it blends all the powders and it sets to my skin. Now obviously you can see my spot right here, but I don't mind, it's a back to school makeup. I have spots, I get blemishes, I have dark circles, but I'm just trying to look a little bit Put together you know like not super flawless or anything I'm trying to just look a little bit more humane um, and I want to use makeup when I don't want to use makeup to school I don't so for brows since my brows are quite actually bushy and I just don't really have an arch the only thing I like to do is grab the L'Oreal brow artist Pampa in the shade medium to dark and I just comb my eyebrows upwards just be very careful because this one has like a lot what in the first go just comb them upwards with this. And this one has fiber, so it makes my brows even look even bushier and fuller. And I just drag it upwards, and it seems like I have a natural arch, but I just brush them upwards, comb them upward, upwards with this. Then I grab a cotton bud, and then I just remove the gel that just went onto my skin. And there you go, those are my brows done. If you don't have that many brow hairs, you can definitely use something like um, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil or the Anastasia Brow Wiz to draw like the few little hairs that you want to draw in and then go in with the brow gel. But if you have quite bushy brows like me, they're like super bushy, but you know what I mean. 
um, you can just use that and it works. And now, as you can see, I'm going to curl my eyelashes because my eyelashes point downwards and they're not curly at all. And that's a must for me. I have to wear mascara or else I'm just like, uh -huh. or at least curl them. So yeah. And if you're wondering what curler I'm using, this one's really good. It's my favorite curler and it's by e.l.f. and it was one US dollar. So it's really good. I really like this curler. It may be really simple, but I don't know. There's just something I really like about this one. And now I go in with my mascara. Now if I'm looking a little bit too dewy, I just grab a little bit with my powder brush and just powder on top. Now the last thing that I like to do is moisturize my lips. I normally use the Clarins Lip Oil, Instant Light Lip Oil, and I have the mint one, but um, it's in my bag currently and it's like quite far away and I can't really grab it, so normally I just do that. And if you want to play a lippy, you can, but normally I just leave it like this. And so yeah, this is the finished look. Um, I really, really like this for a back-to-school makeup. It's really healthy looking, really glowy, minimal. You can lean on your face while at school. You know, sometimes I do that, rub your nose a little like I do, and it's going to look fine. You know, it's not going to look like, um, oh, I just took all my foundation off or anything. It's really natural lightweight and healthy looking and quick. I like to throw this on in the morning when I have to head out the door really quickly. And right now I'm taking like quite a bit more, but normally I take to five to 10 minutes, if 10 minutes if I'm quite sleepy. But I really like this makeup look. So yeah, um, if you kind of like this look, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my vlogging channel. And if you're wondering where you could buy any of the products I used, then definitely check the description box and everything will be linked down below. So yeah, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Oh, this new crazy mother!